the nonprofit Christian Engaged, Christians Engaged, is, a, is fighting back after the IRS rejected the group's tax exempt status over its alleged links to the Republican Party. An IRS official writing in part that the group used Bible teachings that are, quote, typically affiliated with the Republican Party and candidates, end quote, and therefore is disqualified from receiving the exemption. Christians Engaged has filed an appeal over the decision. Joining me now is the president of Christians Engage, Bunny Pounds, along with Leah Patterson, counsel with the First Liberty Institute. Leah, Bunny, welcome. Uh, so let's just start with you first, Bunny. Tell me what your organization actually does. Well, thanks for having us, Rachel. Uh, Christians course. Engage is a nonpartisan Christian ministry where we educate ordinary believers on the importance of praying for our elected officials, our city, state, and nation and the importance of voting and engaging in the, our civic duties as believers, as Americans. We believe um, that every believer in Jesus Christ should be salt and light in our nation. And it's shocking that the IRS has, has targeted us because we teach just issues from a biblical perspective. So before I get to you, Leah, the IRS did give us a statement. They said federal law prohi prohibits the IRS from discussing specific taxpayers or entities. So what do you say? Do you feel you feel like Christians are being targeted here? Or do you feel like the IRS, this is, reminds me a little bit of Lois Lerner um, back in the Obama years when they were going after different groups. So what do you say to the IRS? Well, I think we just have to take the letter based on, on, its, uh, on its face, where it says that it believes Bible teachings are typically affiliated with the Republican Party. And, and, you know, if, if that's what the IRS believes, then the, the concern here is that it, it could revoke the tax-exempt status of many religious organizations across the country, including potentially churches. Uh, and, and Bunny, what, what would you say? I would say every church in America needs to take this case seriously, because if the IRS is going to start denying or revoking tax-exempt status for organizations such as ours, that simply teach issues in our culture from a biblical perspective, then every church in America should feel threatened and every church leader should be paying attention to it. It's absolutely chilling. So you're going to file a lawsuit? If we have to, at the moment, we are going to work through the IRS's administrative appeals process, but if that fails, the next step is federal court. All right, well, we wish you luck. And I didn't know that praying was um, a partisan activity, but Thank you, bon Bunny Pounds and Leah Patterson, for bringing this to our attention. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. 